I'm working for more than six years at a feature length documentary. Today, I'm in the last day of a very intense workshop in Doku Rafka Boutique. I'm very happy and excited that our project was accepted in this uh, program of uh, developing the rough cut of, uh, of the project. And I want to share with you what exactly this means. We started out of uh, need to give a hand to uh, filmmakers from the region. Every year it's five projects, so it's really boutique. They want to give uh, uh, full attention to every project, showing how these uh, uh, potent stories can be internationally also exciting and relevant. They apply with the rough cut. At the first session is the fresh uh, view of the mentors on the each cut, and it's more like talking about uh, how to position the filmmaker, how to work on the narrative, what are the weak points, uh, uh, you know, where is the balance between parts in the film. And in the second one, the filmmakers are coming with the second uh, cut, where they uh, incorporated the feedback from the first uh, session. Then we work also about sound design, how to think in the, in the terms of dramaturgy in the film, as well about the outreach, what to do with the project, uh, how to reach the audience and how to make the strategy. And in the third one, we go to Sarajevo, where we present all these fantastic projects to the decision makers. We really try to bring them from Canada and, you know, hot dogs Toronto to New York to Cannes and Berlin and ITFA, of course, uh, Doc Leipzig and many other smaller but equally important film festivals. Broadcasters, maybe there is some small money missing so they can maybe work on that in these one-to-one -one meetings with decision makers, certainly they get visibility. As a viewer, I want to be in contact with my, with my characters and I have the feeling that, that you can improve this. For me, if you make a documentary, it's, it's all about being authentic, authentic feelings, authentic images, sounds. I realize when the film is more personal, it's, it's, it's always also more authentic. Since um, the personal story that somebody is putting in his film, he has been living this, maybe his whole life, from the day that he remembers anything till now, or maybe the last 10 years. And so this is a research into the reality that you cannot easily do when you just make film about somebody. So I believe in a personal touch. I believe in a personal voice. And I also even believe in the personal, re the, the literal, the voiceover in the film that you are telling your own story or you giving your own uh, reflections in a film. I think that, that almost all the, all the audiences watching this personal approach to a film, they can identify with the one who's telling the story, even if he's not in the screen. The connection between the person who's making the film and the people who are watching the film, I think it's quite strong in a personal film. I think it took me some time to really connect uh, to, you, to, you, to your characters. My experience, it can be that uh, fiction films can be more authentic than documentaries and vice versa. Very often in documentary we try to, to kind of uh, add more structure, we, we try to add stronger changes and shifts and turns. This is where very often in the practical sense our energy goes to create a development of something which doesn't have such a strong uh, development. Ningma Bergman film, you, you think like, you know, the people behave not quite natural, you know, they, 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 they act, you just see that they're, they're actors, but if you get past this point and you, 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 you start connecting to the people and relating to what they're doing, the emotions he, he arrives at are very, very personal, very raw, very, very pure somehow. So uh, I would say very, very documentary-like. What interests me personally is to combine the two things. Uh, I believe there's a, the biggest problem there is the actually the, the narrative strategy or defining the narrative strategy. So it was very um, important for us to get all the feedbacks and uh, all the, the possible ideas for, for the next uh, version of the film. And even more because we... We're, you really um, 
went into details, so now we're aware of what we have in front of us. Mm. So, yeah. I think it could work better. So, why would, how do we know when to stop editing for a movie? <laughs> of a movie. Yeah, but there's two ways. One is that it's finished, <laughs> and the second one is when they will take it from you. Yeah, somebody will <laughs> enter the editing room and then we'll take it. And they'll take it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you or you give yourself a, a you give yourself a deadline. You know, for, for instance. <laughs> I mean, in my case, it's very easy. It's like uh, my my deadline. It's very simple. It's the the uh, the, the money producer has very strongly. It's uh, like always like that. What about if it's your project? And yeah, then it's endless. And it's, well, of course, it could be never. You know, as well. It could be never. Yeah. You don't need to finish. Who said you need to finish? <laughs> I'm very happy that after these five days, they helped me to understand much, much better how to craft all the layers which are in the movie and to clarify what is the story about. I really recommend to anyone who want, who is working for a future leg documentary to check and to apply for a post-production workshop. Puedo ser más claro, pero puedo ser más claro en español. La verdad que es un placer estar acá en Sofía y me encanta estar acá y me alegro mucho haberlo conocido a todos ustedes y que no entiendan una palabra de lo que estoy diciendo, excepción de mi colega que entiende un poco de lo que digo. Pero no es un placer. Why is she exceptional? Mañana me a mi desera. Mondom én, mondom én, csak irányú zsáma fel lehet, légy szíves, aztán... Ravkát Butik, ez egy csermány frumosz, és minunat program, de dokumentár, akár egy jól konosz kommentár. Perfekt. Ik zie hier zo op jou en poeh, man. Ik had binnen de tijd vergist, dus ik uh, was een beetje omlopen om hier te komen, maar uh, uh, we gaan aanvallen. En dan kan je ook zeggen, mijn naam is Dweep, als je is de jezik, dan is het super, of dit is wel inspiratief, nog veel en veel nieuwe ideeën. I da mislimo da ćemo napraviti super film uz pomoć svih vas. So it's not about one project, it's about really building career as a filmmaker coming from this region and going to the next. Okay, let's go film. We will miss you. Yeah, we will miss you too.